hello, it's me, Britain, and welcome to Family Love Lacuna. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas. It's 12 a.m. It is now October 16th, the day I've been waiting for, the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Studio. And you know that I'm a huge Disney fan. I got the ears, I got the Mickey shirt, I got Nightmare Before Christmas pajamas. I've got these slippers right here. I love Disney. And as I would be in bed right now, I just saw the short film, Once Upon a Studio, celebrating 100 years of Disney, and I wanted to do a quick review. And I want to do a quick review, so I apologize for the lighting, but you know I just want to get this review out because it was an amazing short, but we got to keep this review quick and quiet because we don't want to wake up Mama Beer and Papa Beer. Walt started Disney Animation 100 years ago today. To think of all those talented artists and wonderful characters who have been a part of the studio over the years. Yep. Sure. After all the animators leave the studio for today, Mickey and his friends jump out of their paintings to gather 543 classic Disney f characters from over 85 Disney animated feature films and shorts so they can get together to get a big photo shoot to celebrate the 100 years of Disney history. And that is where the short fun, fun from the short comes from. It just seeing all these beloved characters interacting with each other and seeing them play off of each other and just seeing the lovely 2D hand-drawn animation mixing with the 3D computer animation. It's just a sight to behold. This is a celebration of storytelling and celebration of Disney magic and animation. And it is just so fun and so energetic to watch. You get to see all your favorite Disney characters from Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Snow White, Timon, Puma. You get to see Elsa and Anna. You also get to see characters from Disney films that didn't make a lot of money at the box office, but are very, have a special heart for fans like Chicken Little, Hedwig's Horseman, uh, Treasure Planet characters, Emperor New Guru, and it's just awesome to see all of these characters from all of these Disney animated movies just coming together. It's just a sight to behold. It's awesome seeing Mr. Toe on the flying carpet and seeing Penelope riding her candy car with Dodger from All of and Company. It is just awesome to see these characters just in this big studio, just walking around doing their things and just interacting. Pinocchio interacting with Peter Pan and Judy Hopp. It is just a sight to behold. And if you're a Disney fan, you are going to giggle in your seats at all these characters. The short film also features voice actors who play these characters in movies coming back. You got Adina Mazel and Kristen Bell coming back to voice Elsa and Anna. John C. Will Wiley coming back as Wreck-It Ralph. You got Jim Cummings who is doing all these unique voices like Baloo the Bear from The Jungle Book. It's just awesome seeing these actors who made these characters just pop off the screen, coming back and just joining in the Disney fun. And you also get to see Robin Williams come back as the genie as they use recurrings and outtakes from his great performance in Aladdin and Genie. When you see the genie speaking or hear the genie speaking with Olaf, that's Robin Williams. And it is just so awesome that Robin Williams was able to join in the celebration of Disney. I haven't seen a fall like that since Rome. <laughs> great voice performances, and it's just so great. Many details in this short that would make even the biggest Disney fan smile. I mean, you don't really, I mean, it's awesome to see all these Easter eggs. If you're a Disney fan like me, to hear like the songs in the background, or to know that you're playing Walt Disney's favorite song when Mickey is looking at a picture of Walt. But you don't have to be a hardcore Disney fan to enjoy this. You don't have to be a Disney fan at all. This is just a celebration of imagination, creativity, and the art form of animation. And these characters, even though they're animated, they are grounded. And we are able to feel represented and we're able to connect with these characters. And this is what this short does. It connects with us. And it is just so awesome to see these characters on the screen just celebrating this tremendous history of filmmaking and it just it just brings happiness to you and joy to you this is why people love disney this is why people love film this is why people love stories and this shirt reminds you you don't have to be a disney fan to enjoy this you will have a smile no matter what but there is one scene i want to talk about and that is in the shirt mickey is walking in the hall getting ready for 
his picture of all the characters. And he slowly walks to this picture of Walt Disney, the man that gave Mickey a voice, the man that had dreams, the man that came from nothing and made this studio. And Mickey reflection is on the picture of Walt and Mickey just having a quiet moment, thinking back on Walt Disney and the creativeness that made this company. There's not a lot of dialogue in this scene. It's just an intimate, quiet, peaceful moment between a mouse and his friend that gave him dreams and gave him a voice and gave a lot of viewers voice. And it brings a tear to you. And I know that may sound kitty, but my eyes were not dry. And I'm not afraid to admit that because that scene just sum up why Disney and why film is important to me. <laughs> Disney is an inspiration to me, being a screenplay writer, making these videos, making a 100 movie countdown Disney video, which is coming out shortly, so stay tuned for that, alright? Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to be a screenwriter because I got stories I want to tell. I got stories that need to be told. I got stories that I know people want to hear. Stories that can connect us, and I got that and I want to be a filmmaker. I want to put my imagination into the world. Just like Walt, I want to take this art form and make something of it and I want to put my voice into it because a lot of people may struggle with the same things I go through and I want them to know they're not alone and I want them to have stories that connect them. And watching this show it just reminds me that I have what it takes to be a filmmaker and I'm going to be a filmmaker. I promise you guys but most importantly I promise myself. I'm going to be a filmmaker and I'm going to create magical stories. But yes, Once Upon a Studio is a great short. It's now on Disney Plus. It's going to be on Disney Channel later tonight at 8 p.m. It's just a lovely short that just inspires you. Not about your passions, about your hobbies. It just is a celebration of this magical company that just makes us feel connected and make us, makes us feel inspired. And... It's just a splendid shirt with a lot of passion, a lot of joy, a lot of love put into it. I recommend it. Five stars. So, happy anniversary to Walt Disney Company. Uh, we can't wait to see what you have in store for 100 years. And I can't wait to see what I can add to your company when I become a waiter for your, um, the Disney Studio. Because that's my dream and Walt had a dream and I'm going to... Make my dream come true with some pixie dust, a glass slipper, and with Mr. Mickey Mouse.